Hey everybody, welcome to What Was Mommy Thinking or welcome back if you are already one of the subscribers. I want to thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my video. I know it has been a couple of weeks since I have been able to get a video posted. I am so, so grateful that um, things are starting to slow down a little bit. I thought what I would do is start this week off with a weekly check-in for January week one. Kind of chat and update everybody on what's been going on and what's coming up for What Was Mommy Thinking? And if you are interested, I'd love for you to stick around. I know it's been a couple of weeks you guys I am so so sorry that I haven't been able to get content posted and I know I don't owe an explanation or apology to anyone but you guys are our are, are friends and important and you matter to me and um, I thought I would give you guys a little bit of update while we do my weekly budget check-in for January week one and um, yeah, so let's get that started. Let's do something productive, shall we? This is my Happy Planner Classic. I'm sorry, my Happy Planner Big Budget Binder. These are Happy Planner Skinny Classic. We're going to have a little bit of a side conversation about these things. Um, my understanding is that these have become harder to find. These Skinny Classics, they're not making as many anymore or as many designs of them. So we're going to have a little chat about that. Filofax Safiano wallet and my calculator, my candle, and my trusty pen bag. For my little year of the word aloha, you guys are going to see bits and pieces of, of that theme throughout different things that I do this year, um, just as a reminder for me. So let's get started with this. So we are in January. And I've got my stickers here to do a plan with me. Um, and I don't know that I'll get that completely finished. I may just have to plan on my own. But we are going to check in for the week of Friday, January the 7th through Thursday, Jan not two weeks, through Thursday, January the 13th. As you guys can see, I used some leftover washi from previous kits. I didn't do a whole kit for this week. And the week before, there was it was in December, so there was nothing in here. So I'm going to do this so that we can see a little bit better. And I'll probably zoom you guys in here in just a second. But I want to go ahead and pull my weekly check-in sheet for the month of January. This is my monthly check-in sheet for the week of January. It's got this sweet little hot cocoa design in the background. I've already put my stickers for all of my different categories that I check in every week. And so I'll be able to um, hum right along with that. It's just warm and cozy and, and I like it. So we're going to do that. I'm going to open my Filofax Safiano here because that's where my cash wallet or my cash envelopes are. If you are new here, first and foremost, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. I get paid once a month and out of my once a month pay, we take our cash envelopes for the entire month. And when we do that, I separate them by weekly amounts and put them into my monthly cash envelopes and this helps me well the theory is this will help me to not overspend on a weekly basis so I get to the end of the month and don't have enough money I've got my savings challenge envelopes here just because of the pantry and the no eat out that's the only reason that's there um, I am not stuffing savings challenges at this time because we've had some life events pop up that have consumed pretty much all of our money. Um, whole nother story. 
for a different day. So I'm going to kind of move this aside and we're going to dig in to this stuff. I'm going to grab some dot markers. I like to use the dot markers. Most of you guys already know that. So I'm going to zoom you in so that you can see the whole page and move this buggy aside. I'll move this over. Okay, let's see if we can... Is that working? That's working. Alright, so I'm going to grab a few of these out. I don't know how many categories I have this week, but we're going to roll with what we have. I'm also going to grab my spending tracker that should have the things on it. Okay, so I want to make sure that I have everything on my spending tracker that I have in here. Some of this is going to be things that we don't track on the weekly check-in sheet because it was spending for um, my husband's business or some new things that we have going on. So I'm going to kind of reconcile them as we go and do my little dots that way so that I'm not flipping back and forth so much for you guys. So on Friday the 7th, we have some spending, which isn't a surprise because that was a payday. We have this Bradford Exchange, which is a business expense for us, and that is some business um, checking stuff, a checkbook cover, a checkbook um, checks, all of that sort of stuff. So we're not quite sure what category to call this since it is a business expense. Um, so I'm just going to call it business and put a blue dot on it and we're going to move on because it's not something that I track on my weekly tracker. The next category that we have is grocery. So I'm going to do reconcile 3901 to 3901. Then I've got a 15390 and 15390. So those are good to go. That is on the 7th, and then it looks like on the 8th, I had one grocery charge for 4813, 4813. That's household, so we won't worry about that. Eat out medical subscriptions. Then another subscriptions and another subscriptions. Okay, so it looks like it's just those three charges for grocery. So I'm going to come down here and put a dot for grocery. And I'll just write that. I forgot to put my total for business. It's 20251. And then for grocery. I know you guys are feeling the inflation as well. My husband and I had a conversation about the grocery budget. And in February, I think I'm going to have to go back up. Um, a little bit. I had come back, I had taken $200 a month off of our grocery budget not too long ago, um, a few months back, and I think I'm going to have to go back up to that. And that makes me sad in a way, but in a way grateful too that we actually have it to spend. So let's add these up. Let's start with 3901. That was at Walmart. Then we have 15390. And I think that was it, Kroger. Yes, it was. And then we have 48.13 at Sam's Club. So our total is 241.04. All right, $241.04. Awesome. Okay, our next category it looks like is going to be household, and there was only the one charge. And that was at Sam's Club. Make sure there's only one over here. Yes, one right here. Boom. Subscriptions. Yeah, so the subscriptions kicked my butt, you guys. Um, I got caught not having planned for a subscription renewal. And that made me a little frustrated at myself. But, you know you live and you learn. That's how I learn what sinking funds I need to add and if it's something that I'm going to hang on to and all of those things. So I'm learning. 
and our next one is going to be eat out I am very very proud to say that we only ate out one day you guys so one two three four five six out of seven days we did not eat out so I'm really really happy about that um, we are extremely blessed that my parents have been able to be here with us the last couple of weeks unfortunately they're leaving in the morning but they will be back in uh, February so super excited about that we've enjoyed them being here so so much and on Saturday the 9th we decided we were going to order pizza and we did that for a couple of reasons number one I did freezer meal cooking you guys I cooked for 13 hours that day I cooked on Saturday I cooked on Sunday and I cooked a little bit on Monday what was left and I was not feeling well I've, I've been sick um, and not feeling well but I had all of this food that I had ordered the week before and all of that money you guys that we saved with the no eat out savings challenge and my pantry savings challenge I spent it I bought food to do freezer cooking so I had to get the cooking done I had to get the food prepared so um, push through right you just push through and I paid for it <laughs> physically and uh, fatigue wise for quite some time and I'm, I'm just starting to recover really so seventy dollars and fifty four cents for pizza for seven and some sonic beverages because of course they are the best um, next category is medical we had one medical expense for thirty seven dollars and fifty cents at Walgreens and that was for a prescription so we're going to put that one right here. I don't track that one on my weekly check-in sheet. I'm not sure if I ever will since there's one prescription in the entire family um, per month. So I probably won't. And then our next category is going to be subscriptions. So at the beginning of the year, I got hit with an Apple subscription charge that I was not aware that I was going to get. Maybe familiar with is a better word. I'm not sure. But it was $21.64. And then if we look over here on Wednesday the 12th, this was the big one. So Walmart Plus. My Walmart Plus membership renewed and it was my own fault for not paying attention and writing it down and putting it in my planner when that was going to happen. But it did renew on the 12th and um, I wasn't prepared with a sinking fund for that. So for our subscription total, we have 98 and 2164. So a total of 11964. And I'm going to be starting um, an envelope for subscriptions. And tell me what you guys think. There are some subscriptions that renew annually and there are some subscriptions like Canva and Epidemic Sound and things like that that come out I'm sorry Walmart Plus and that stuff comes out once a year then there are things that come out monthly like Canva and Epidemic Sound and things like that that I um, that I, I count them as a bill I list them in my bills every month but the ones that come out annually like do you do one envelope for all your subscriptions or do you like how do you guys budget for that so let me know down in the comment section below um, for a couple of years now we really haven't had any subscriptions because we canceled a ton of things while we were working on our credit card debt and when we became credit card debt free uh, I did sign up for a couple of things like the Walmart Plus and um, of course we have Amazon Prime things like that so this is where we're at for our weekly check-in I'm gonna go ahead and put this sheet right back in here um, ba -bum, ba -bum. and I'm gonna just put this notebook aside for a minute because we're not gonna need it for just a second I'm going to have my weekly check-in sheet here just for reference and we're going to grab our cash envelopes and our monthly cash envelopes. So I probably don't need a calculator. If, where did my weekly check-in sheet go? If everything is correct, then I should be able to transfer these amounts over so in grocery we start every month with a balance of one thousand dollars in our grocery account 
and in our household we start with one hundred dollars and it says here that in grocery I spent two forty one oh four so I'm going to say that that's two forty one yes I normally round up but I think the four pennies I think I just left it alone and then in household it says I spent twenty four sixty two which will be twenty five so I doubt that there's anything left in that envelope for gas it we start, I start every month with $300. My husband keeps his gas money separate. Doesn't look like we spent anything in there. For eating out, we get $300 a month, which is $75 a week. And it looks like we spent $70.54. And then for miscellaneous, I don't see anything. We start the month with $100 and I don't see anything spent for sports and couponing. We're gonna leave those alone for right now because neither of those became funded. So now I can take this sheet and put it aside and move this one up here for us to reference and grab my envelopes. So these are the ones I carry in my wallet. These are the monthly cash envelopes. So I'm gonna go ahead and we'll just start with grocery and see where we're at. Um, I've got allowance money in here because I haven't made an allowance envelope yet so I'm just gonna put that aside and we're gonna look at grocery so it says here that oh it's all on the first page that after week one we have seven hundred and fifty dollars in our envelope here so we're gonna lay that there and then in here if we have seven hundred and fifty in this envelope and let's see what we have in this envelope. All right, in this one we have five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So plus nine is seven hundred and fifty nine dollars. If we take the two forty one from the one thousand, we should have $759 left. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little post-it note on this money and we're gonna send $9 to the pantry savings challenge because that's what's left in our weekly budget and we'll start fresh with $250 from this week. So we're gonna put this, oh, I want to fold it over. So I'm going to go ahead and set this aside and we'll put this into one of our savings challenge envelopes. And in here we separate this by week. So I've got 250 for week two, 250 for week three, and 250 for week four. So I'm going to take 100, 250 and put it here and that should leave me with five. 100, 200, 250, 350, 450, and 500 dollars. So I'm going to stick that 500 back in here and I'm going to on my ledger come down here and put on 115. We're going to do week two subtracting $250 and that should leave us with $500 which we just confirmed that we have. So I'm going to flip that over and I'm going to go ahead and get this $250 and this will be my grocery money for the upcoming week and today is grocery shopping day so um, I've moved my grocery shopping to the weekend and I will tell you guys I am not liking it. I am so used to doing my grocery shopping and getting my orders in on Thursday and picking it up on Friday on my way home from work that it leaves me my weekend, right? And I'm so used to that that I'm really not liking having to go out on Saturday and Sunday, but because I meal plan on Wednesdays, when I go in on Thursdays, lately guys tell me how it is in your place I do grocery pickup they don't even have time slots available until two days away so I've Saturday's been the soonest I can get things which is just basically a, I guess a sign of the times I'm not I'm not totally sure so I'm gonna put seven hundred and fifty nine dollars remaining in groceries here and I'm going to bring that seven hundred and fifty nine dollar balance down and then 
I will have to write in my notes back here that on the 15th, which is here, that I put $9 from grocery to the pantry savings challenge. And these are this is how I'm, I'm doing my ledger, you guys. I'm writing stuff in um, in here instead of using a ledger and it's working so far I've done it before um, and I liked it so so for household we had a hundred dollars we spent 2462 which should leave us with $75 it looks like in here we have exactly $75 which would be for three weeks which means there should be nothing and there isn't in our household envelope it's completely empty so we can go ahead and say that on 115 we're going to do week two and take out that $25 for this week and that should leave us with 50 and let's flip that over and make sure that all of that is correct. Twenty twenty five. Okay, forty five fifty seventy seventy five. So I'm going to take twenty five out, twenty, twenty five, forty five, and fifty to leave in here. I'll put that back in this envelope, and we're going to put this twenty five in this envelope. I've even noticed like we've had we've had shortages, and I think it's you know mostly the the transit of things and getting things uh, shipped and delivered has been the biggest issue for the stores but I don't know about you guys but here in our area it's a staffing issue like our stores just don't have enough staff um, 2462 leaving us with $75 for the week for the next week for gas says we should still have all three hundred dollars so if if that is true let's check it out so for gasoline it says we have 225 dollars down here let's see if that's true so 50 75 125, 145, 150, 2, 220, 225, and in our gasoline envelope, we have 50, 75. So that's a total of 300. I'm going to go ahead and take week two's money and pull that. So that's going to give me 150 in here, 50, 100, 120, 140, 145, 150. And I'll tell you, this is a blessing because I do have to fill up my tank today. Um, and so that's going to take a big chunk of this, probably 80-ish dollars. The rest of it, I need to supplement my sinking fund for vehicle inspection, oil change, vehicle maintenance, and our vehicle tags. So when I budgeted last year and set my amounts for my envelopes, I did not anticipate an increase. So when we went to do it this year, it was about $40 more per vehicle than it was last year for the combination, the inspection, the oil change, and the um, renewal of our tags. So between the two cars, one gets renewed in January and one in February, we were about 80 bucks short. So some of this money is going to go to supplement that and that'll be a big help everything is going up and I think that as I plan for next year my money that's going into like vehicle maintenance and the tags and stuff I'm just gonna go ahead and increase it because you know because that's realistic so I'm gonna put this 150 I had 225 I took 75 out so I'm gonna put that in here and go ahead and write up here that on 115 of 21 that we take out week two and we take out $75 and that leaves us with $150 for the rest of the month. 
So our next category is going to be eating out. I'm gonna leave that right there for a second and go ahead and update for gas. We still have $300. We got 150 in here and 150 in here. And down here in gas, we still have $300. Okay, for eating out. For eating out, it says we have $225. I'm sure that that's correct. 50, 75, 125, 145, 150, 200, 222, 25. And since it says here that we spent $70.54, there should be a couple of dollars left in here. Oh, look, there's a five. Okay, so. This five and 75 for week two, 50, 70, 75, 80, gives us $80 here. So I guess I didn't have change <laughs> when I did this, um, when I took the money out. Oh, look, it says eat out owes the bank $1. <laughs> I've got a little post it there telling myself that eat out owes the bank a dollar. So our remaining for this should be 200 and 29 and it's actually 230 but I owe the bank a dollar so we're gonna come down here and put two hundred and twenty nine dollars over here on this we're going to put today's date the 15th and week two and we're gonna take out that seventy five dollars and it's going to be one hundred and fifty dollars so we're gonna put this back and put this in this envelope. Okay, so I don't track pets on um, this sheet because it's not something that we use all the regular, but I wanna take this opportunity to let you guys know some very, 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 um, yeah. So a couple of you already know this, um, we've chatted Sorry, I needed coffee for this. Um, on Christmas night, my family, um, my family had a horrible, horrible um, tragedy in that our three-year-old German Shepherd, who we absolutely adore, uh, passed in her sleep from a congenital heart defect that we didn't know that she had. So around. 8 39 o'clock on Christmas night my 10 year old found her in her cage and my husband tried to resuscitate her uh, mouth to mouth CPR the whole nine yards um, took her to the emergency vet and as you guys can imagine an emergency vet on a holiday um, we didn't care it was worth whatever we had to pay or whatever we had to do but um, but she passed so there will be some changes coming to my pet fund um, and that is part of the reason that I have been very very absent um, my children uh, had to have my hundred percent hundred and fifty percent my family we have been through so much um, through our losses with our loved ones and then my my close friend and boss and um, then this on Christmas Day and Christmas plans with family got messed up and it was just kind of like this whole culmination of events and we just needed some time. So we took the time. We are still very much grieving and we are, you know, we are in that journey from grief to gratitude where a little bit by little, you know, you, you're so grateful that you had something so amazing to be grieving over. But it is a process and we're working through all that and everybody does that at a different pace and in a different way so you won't be seeing Coco in any more of my videos and um, and it'll change things here too but she was amazing and we loved her and she brought so much to us and um, and we miss her every minute of every day but we are so grateful that we had her she was a rescue and um, at the end of the movie she rescued us so let's just be honest about that um, so anyway that is pets and um, if you guys 
our our spiritual people um pray for my kids pray for my family it's just been a lot um it's just been a lot and we're okay we're doing we're doing okay um but we've got a ways to go so that being said we're going to move on to the next category before i just go down the rabbit hole of tears <laughs> um so for miscellany we didn't spend anything out of sports and there's nothing in this envelope baseball for us starts back up here in a couple of weeks with practices our first tournament is in february it's actually on my my son that has the tournament in february the tournament is on his 14th birthday weekend so that's going to be so much fun um in miscellaneous it says that we have let's see 75 dollars left which is three weeks worth because we start with a hundred it says here we didn't spend any so there should still be 25 in here which it looks like that there is so there's 25 and so we're going to come down here and say that we still have a hundred dollars and bring that hundred dollars down and then we're going to come up here and put 115 and put week two and we're going to take out $25 I have no idea where that cut off I was just chatting away counting money doing my thing um, so we didn't spend anything out of miscellaneous we should still have a hundred fifty dollars here 20 25 45 50 and there's 50 in here what I was telling you guys when the camera so rudely stopped because I reached the maximum because I don't know how to control my mouth um, is that I haven't I haven't been to the bank we got paid on the 7th and I haven't been to the bank to get cash out to do anything with because right now we're really not able to do um, savings challenges or very many sinking funds because we've got so many expenses that that we had to bust into our sinking funds and things like that to cover um and so we're just trying to catch up and make up for that and that's going to take a little while so have some patience with me um as soon as i possibly can i will be right back into my savings challenges and things of that nature and i do have to prioritize them so um when it comes to those you know doing my grocery went into my pantry the no eat out challenge because that goes straight to my family and then my boys um christmas ones the christmas where i save in that so as soon as i get some extra money to to put into saving challenges catching those up will be my priority and then i'll start on some other ones so for our cash envelopes that for the month that is it i am done with these until next week so i can put those aside and I am also completely stuffed on my um, wallet envelopes, so I can go ahead and put those back in, into here. But I can't put them far because we're going to need them here in just a second. I've got to put money into my pantry and no eat out. Oh, that's the wrong one. Is that the wrong one? That's the wrong one. My pantry and my no eat out envelopes because... We didn't eat out six days out of the week like we just saw and I've got some nine dollars over here that I have wrapped a little post-it note around that's gonna go into grocery so let's open up our savings challenges and go all the way back to no eat out and pantry so we know for pantry that we've got our nine dollars right five six seven eight and nine i'm going to go ahead and throw it in the envelope and then we'll update the sheet all right i'm going to set that aside for just a second and in my budget binder is where i keep all of my savings challenges i did a video on which savings challenges that was actually my last video a couple weeks ago um, that I'm doing this year for 2022 and um, if you didn't get a chance to see it I will link it to the eye in the sky up above there and I'm going to throw our weekly check-in sheet back in our binder because I'm going to finish you this time I didn't finish December y'all I'm not even going to lie to you Christmas happened and we had had such 
you know, we had, we had rallied and even though it didn't turn out the way we wanted it, we had had a really good Christmas day and I was excited about all of that and then boom. So, um, I'm going to go back here to my savings challenges. Awesome. And then we're going to find our pantry savings challenge, which is going to be right after Money Monopoly. Oh, wait, that's no eating out. Um, pantry challenge right there. Boom. Awesome. And then I'm going to grab my little makeshift <laughs> homemade sticker binder here. Um, I had an extra set of the covers from Live Love Posh, and I just, I still haven't put a vellum in it, y'all. And this is where I've um, uh, punched my stickers and stuck them into. So I'm going to go back here to Pantry and find a little sticker. And then we're going to write $9 on it. And I'm going to stick that right on the little shelves that we have here on our... Should we start at the bottom and work our way up? What do you guys think? I think we should. We're going to start right there at the bottom and start building our mason jars on our shelves. And I just love that. I think that's so cute. All right. And then for our no eat out challenge, we had already counted the days and saw that we had six no eat outs. So I'm going to go into my wallet and we're going to take from our no eat out envelope. Do, 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 do. Since I have to put 30 in, I'm going to take 25 from miscellaneous. I guess I could take all 30. Let's take all 30. So I'm going to put 20 back in miscellaneous. And I'm going to take this $30. 25, 30, 30, or wait, 20, 25, 30. I'm going to put it in this no eat out envelope right here. And I'm going to put this aside. We're going to go to our No Eat Out stickers. Boom, right there. And we're going to put that our start date on our No Eat Out challenge was January the 7th of 2022, because that's when that week started. And we're going to go ahead and find our pizza stickers in here which are super easy to find because they're a bigger sheet and we're going to do six of them. So while I do these, I just want to ask you guys how your 2022 is going. I've had a rough, rough start, um, but that's okay. I'm grateful for that start, whether it's rough or not, and that I have the ability to keep going and keep trying. And I'm really looking forward to when we get everything caught up and back in order um, because when I'm on track and everything's going the way it's supposed to, man, I feel good. <laughs> this whole like unexpected stuff is whipping my tail. So um, yeah, I'm probably going to post like maybe a poll on YouTube and um, I'm, I'm going to ask you guys that are watching the video as well, if you would leave in the comment section below, if I were going to do two videos a week or, and sometimes like possibly a third video, what are the videos that you want to see the most? Are, is it plan with me? Is, is it grocery hauls and meal plans? Is it the weekly check-ins? Is it the cash stuffing? Do you want to see my weekly setup videos? or what I eat in a day. Um, my husband and I are both on the WW personal plans for 2022. It's worked for us in the past. We're back on that. Um, I'm starting week three. Would you like to see what I eat in a day? Would you like to see cook with me? It's like what kind of videos would you like to see the most? If you would give me your top three maybe um, in kind of you know top two and then if there's a bonus because two is about what I'm going to be able to do with sometimes being a third depending on what's going on with the boys travel sports graduate school my job that that sort of thing so um, tell me what you would think about that and then there is a possibility and I'm not making any promises 
but there's a possibility that I might be able to get back to doing a live every once in a while. Certainly not once a week, but maybe um, once or twice a month doing a live video, maybe doing a live plan with me or a live budget check-in or something along those lines. And um, let me know what you guys think about that as well. One of my other videos that I've done before is kind of a like a spill the tea Tuesday where I just chat with you guys about something that's on my heart or on my mind and I've thought about starting those up again because it kind of incorporates my word of the year the aloha with living intentionally and being intentional with your words and and helping others so let me know what you think about that as well so until next time guys again thank you thank you thank you from the bottom of my heart so many of you have um, commented to me or reached out to Chrissy over at the mom life because you know she's my person and we talk on the reg and um, I just appreciate you so very much I feel the energy and I feel the concern and it impacts me and it blesses me more than you know and I hope that I'm able to return that favor to you guys sometime very soon if I haven't before and um, until then take care of yourselves be well and I'll see you in the next video bye everybody breathe in some love and let yourself unfold